If I told myself from seven years ago that I would be standing up here today, I would have thought I was crazy. I mean, I could barely even raise my hand up in class. That's how closed in I was. I was an awkward kid and, well, that's not what I wanted. But as all things in this world, things change and so did I. Let me start off with where every social hierarchy starts where you're labeled as strong or weak, reliable or a snitch, have cool toys or don't. That's right, the unforgiving lands of elementary school. You see, in elementary school, I had a very specific group of friends and we would always go to the computer lab instead of going out during recess. And as you can imagine, I was that kid. Long black hair, skinny and pale, and only ever talked about video games. And this would have been perfectly fine if the rest of my friend group was like this as well, which they were not. You see, they all actually had a passion for basketball, and that made me, a boy who had no interest in sports whatsoever, feel, well, a lot more weird. In fact, I remember this one time that me and my friend got kicked out of the computer lab for copying and pasting a folder that we named Fart so many times that it crashed the computer. And trust me, at the time, it was hilarious. But what came after definitely was not. Sure, the computer guy was pretty mad, but the worst part was that we had to go outside for recess. And I had not been outside for recess in about, well, five months. But I thought to myself, hey, it's all right. I got my friend with me here. We'll figure something out together. But as I turned to tell him these exact thoughts, he had already disappeared towards the basketball court. Right, he's not a loser like me. So I stood there for 30 whole minutes, staring down at the ground, walking around as if I had a destination. I never felt so pathetic. But things started to change once I got into middle school. I made a few more friends, not many, but a few. But the very first year that I was put into middle school, I was also put into the drama class, and this terrified me. I mean, I, could, I didn't even try to talk to people outside my friend group, so how do you expect me to perform a monologue in front of, what, 20-something people? So. As the first day of class approached, I walked to class, my legs trembling, afraid of what was to come. And as if things couldn't get any worse, when we got there, we were told that we have to introduce ourselves in front of the entire class. What's a hobby I wouldn't get judged for? How, sh how should I say it? What, what even was my name? So, as the teacher went down the aisle, choosing each student one by one, I recited what I was gonna say over and over again in my head so that I wouldn't screw up. And when it was finally my turn, I got out of my chair and waddled towards the front of the class and said, hello, uh, my name is Tyler Hashimoto. Uh, I am a sixth grader and I like to play video games. And as I forced those words out of my mouth, the entire class started to laugh. Is what I expected to happen, but all I heard claps. Huh, not too bad, I thought to myself. But the worst was yet to come. At the end of class, we were told that in two weeks, in two weeks, we would have to have a full one minute monologue memorized. A few minutes ago, I could barely even introduce myself in front of these people. So how do you expect me to perform a full one minute monologue in front of them? Apparently, it was to get a feel of what drama class is like, but for goodness sake, man, chill out. But I did what I had to do. At home, I recited my monologue over and over again, going over line after line, hoping that nobody would walk into me. But as I practiced more and more, I started to get the hang of it. And not gonna lie, being able to recite those lines so quickly and smoothly was, well, a pretty good feeling. But still, it was pretty embarrassing reciting those lines alone in my room. So, two weeks have passed, and it's finally my turn to perform. I practiced this a thousand times at home, and I had the script perfectly memorized, but 
I was still terrified. I mean, this was the first ever anything I ever performed. So, as I got a hold of myself, I got up and headed towards the middle of the class. And as I opened my mouth to say those very first words, it came out surprisingly so naturally. And then I said my next line, and then the next, and then the next, and then the next, and then until all that had to be said was said. The entire performance was, well, unexpected. I said all my lines, I didn't mess up a single line. My body language was on point and my timing was perfect. But there was one thing in particular that really surprised me. I actually enjoyed it. So that's when it first hit me. I had found my basketball. Fast forward a year and I'm in my very first school play with a whopping seven lines. That's, well, seven more than what I was expecting. But those seven lines weren't as fun from the very beginning. You see, this was one of, if not the first ever extracurricular activity that I ever did. You know what that means, get to meet new people. On top of that, there are people from the upper grade in it as well. And to top it all off, I barely knew anyone actually doing the play. So as the first ever rehearsals approached, I stepped in to the doors of the rehearsal room with my head down, expecting the entire room to go silent with people staring and whispering behind my back. But as I raised my head, I realized that no one was looking, not even one glance because they were all so indulged in their own conversation. Step one complete. Enter this battlefield of humans without getting noticed. Now came step two. Find an ally to talk to. So I looked around the room and found a group of people that I recognized from my grade, which I never actually talked to. And I slowly made my way over there. But as soon as I got there, I was instantly greeted. Oh, hey, Tyler. Um. What? I never even talked to this guy, so how is he so, so, so welcoming? Yeah, I was happy that I was included, but I was more confused than anything. And then that let me, they let me into their conversation as if I was always there. And this really confused me. But then this happened the next day, and then the next day, then the next day, and so on. And then I realized the reason why they were always laughing. The reason why they were all so friendly. The reason why they were all so open. They were weird. But I was inspired by these people. I didn't care if they had weird hobbies like video games or hell, standing in front of a large audience to dramatically perform something. I wanted to be just like them. So that's exactly what I did. Because after every performance, I got a little weirder, but a little more or open. And after every conversation with one of these people, I became a little more of the person that I always wanted to be, but was too afraid to be. And before I knew it, it was performance day. My first ever performance on an actual stage in front of an actual audience. And obviously, I was anxious. But something was different from that day in the classroom where I introduced myself. My legs were trembling, sure, and I was nervous, of course, but this adrenaline flowing through me wasn't because I wanted to leave. No, it was because I was excited. And when it was finally my turn to perform and get up on stage, I crushed every single line. But even with those mere seven lines, being up there on stage with the lights and the entire audience's attention on me well, I felt as if there was no better feeling in this world. And as I stand up here today, I feel that same exact feeling. This wonderful feeling that I live for and this feeling that I will continue to strive for. Thank you.